Hi, I'm going to read Moroni 3. And the first thing will be the synopsis. And then there's just four verses. So it will not be long at all, okay? Um, Elders ordain priests and teachers by the laying on of hands about A.D. 401 to 21. You know, I'm remembering what Mormon said. I think it was Mormon, unless it was Moroni. I think it was Mormon. We are talking about the plates. And see, they had left most of them um, in the place. And so he was only carrying the ones that uh, had the sacred writings on. So that's what's happening. We are, we are reading the ordinances and stuff that was handed down from king to king um, for generations and generations until then it ended up being in Mormon's hands and and he's given it to his son. And Mormon is now dead. And Moroni is putting out those sacred records. This is part of Moroni's chapter. And then he's also doing his own writing. So I've just noticed that is covering some pretty sacred stuff, you know, and not just sacred, um, but the ordinances, things that they are able to do in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, priesthood is the power to act in God's name. Priesthood is pretty important, and it is just for the men. However, faith is what it takes to make miracles happen. And believe me, women got what it takes. And I've, I've experienced miracles, I know. So, I mean, I've only told about a few of them, but if you have listened to my other stuff, then I talked about some miracles that happened to me. But really, believing, miracles follow those who believe. God's power is here. You just can't partake of it unless, you know, you believe. Okay, enough of that. Got off the mark right off the bat. Okay, so this is Moroni 3. The manner which disciples who were called the elders of the church ordained priests and teachers. After they had prayed unto the Father in the name of Christ, they laid their hands upon them and said, In the name of Jesus Christ, I ordain you to be a priest, or if he be a teacher, I ordain you to be a teacher, to preach repentance and remission of sins through Jesus Christ by the endurance of faith on his name to the end. Amen. And after this manner did they ordain priests and teachers according to the gifts and callings of God unto men. And they ordained them by the power of the Holy Ghost, which was in them. Now, that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. Now, so I'm going to go back and read verse 3 again because that hit me, okay? Because this is a, something I talked about before. What does enduring to the end mean? Okay. This just hit me. This is trip right here. Okay. So I'm going to read verse 3. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ordain you to be a priest. Or if he be a teacher, I ordain you to be a teacher. To preach repentance and remission of sins through Jesus Christ. Now, here's the last statement. By the endurance of faith on his name to the end. Amen. Okay? By enduring to the end, it does not mean to stay here when it's your time to go. It's time to go, you know? And you ought to be happy unless there's things here you need to stick around for. And then that's a choice you make, you know? I just think the people don't realize the choices they have. We're so used to the medical field being the boss. And so, yeah, you go and you find out you got a problem. And they have a solution, they think. 
and maybe they do, you know, and, and in certain instances, for sure, you better be doing it. But given different circumstances in life, there's choices you can make. You do not have to go by what the medical field says. I, I kind of believe in old school. So for, yeah, it's great to have modern day medicine and, and stuff, but dying of natural causes, that doesn't happen much anymore, does it? <laughs> um, <clears throat> but I know the environment does play a part in all that stuff. So it's a, it's a matter of a decision. Just I want people to know they have a right to make that decision. Okay? The medical field is not God. The medical field is wonderful in many instances. But otherwise, it can be a detriment to you and to your family. Anyway, that's all I'll say today. I'm going to get on to another chapter. Bye.